Hi, everybody. Here are the big takeaways from this chapter three topic about operational definitions. Uh, first big takeaway, in this chapter we discuss measurement in psychological research and, and ways that we measure. One of the first challenges of conducting research in psychology has to do with uh, the, the measurement of the abstract, non-tangible phenomena that we like to study in psychology, such as thoughts and opinions and sometimes hidden emotions like, like stress. Research concepts have to be clear, precise, and agreed upon in order for any scientific inquiry to take place. Measurement is the process of describing abstract, non-tangible concepts in terms of specific indicators by the assigning of numbers to these indicators. So measurement is where a researcher assigns numbers to quantify high, medium, and low levels of, for example, stress or depression or self-esteem, something like that. We all know, uh, for example, that even something as abstract as intelligence, we can quantify, we can make it numerical by use of an intelligence test, right? That produces an IQ score. Uh, so most concepts we wanna study in psychology are vague and abstract that is not tangible or concrete, like marital satisfaction, or juvenile delinquency, or emotional symptoms of a psychological disorder. But psychological science needs us to get specific and define our terms very carefully in order for the science to move forward. So only specific concepts can be measured and ultimately be quantified, that is assigned numbers, that represent varying levels of high, medium, and low. Measurement's a really important topic here. Number two, uh, the second takeaway, a new term, operational definitions. An operational definition is the defining of variables in terms of the actual operations required to measure them. Think of these as measurable representations of those abstract, non-tangible variables that we like to study in psychology. Notice, psychology could not be a science without operational definitions that allow us to, to measure precisely the state of the variables in question, assigning high, medium, and low levels to each. Operational definitions also allow us to use quantification, quantitative measurement, translating non-tangible variables into numbers, which subsequently allow us to use statistical analyses, of course. An operational definition is a precise description of a cause variable or of an effect variable in terms of an observation that can actually be measured in some tangible way. For operational definitions, a good shorthand is this, if this new term is measurable representation of a variable of interest. So an operational definition is a measurable representation. That's a nice short definition. For example, psychological and emotional distress, here in this example, a dependent variable, is commonly measured using a self-report questionnaire called the Beck Depression Inventory, thereby represented, uh, represented uh, by a numerical scale scored on a scale from 10 to 40, with higher scores, closer to 40, representing higher levels of depression, and lower scores, closer to 10, representing a lower depression. Now here's a more complex example of an operational definition. This one is of an independent variable. Let's say you're proposing a study to investigate a type of psychotherapy treatment to decrease symptoms of a psychological disorder. We must operationally define this independent variable treatment. What is that? We would say this treatment is a cognitive behavioral therapy described by Aaron Beck, and then cite the year of his published book on this topic. That's an operational definition of an independent variable or causal variable in that context. We must further define how often will this psychotherapy take place, like once a week? Who will conduct the psychotherapy, like a qualified master's level psychologist with 10 years of experience? And finally, what will happen during a tri typical treatment, cognitive behavior therapy? What happens during this, these sessions? This is a much more complex example of an operational definition, but it follows the same principles of a measurable representation of this phrase, treatment, or any abstract concept 
Notice the goal of operational definitions is to increase precision. Research concepts have to be clear, precise, and agreed upon in order for any scientific inquiry to take place. So operational definitions are, are foundational. They allow the, that communication among researchers about variables with a common frame of reference. And ultimately, psychological science cannot exist. It cannot happen without operational definitions. So, in summary, guys, the big takeaways from this chapter three topic on uh, operational definitions are these. Number one, measurement is where a researcher assigns numbers to quantify high, medium, and low levels of the abstract, non-tangible phenomenon that we'd like to study in psychology, such as thoughts, opinions, emotions. Read carefully, and number two, read carefully the characteristics of operational definitions, as well as the advantages and disadvantages of using them in psychological research. Be familiar with illustrations from your textbook and also from this lecture. Those are the big takeaways from this chapter three topic of operational definitions. Thank you, everyone.